So hey everybody, how you doing? It's time for a Feature Friday. We're going to do something a little different this time. We uh, had written an article some time back about uh, disconnected mode on the mobile devices. So I thought we'd just kind of read through that article and uh, use it as a, as a foundation for a video here. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So given that your users have installed an application suite mobile application to a smart device, uh, and you've granted them access to the available applications, they're now able to, of course, enjoy the use of those applications while connected or disconnected to a network, whether it's Wi-Fi or even uh, 4G or 5G. So when you first launch the application, the user first launches the mobile application, it creates an offline JSON schema, a database, if you will, actually on the mobile device. And then, of course, it synchronizes with the application suite server for application updates and any records that the user has been assigned or granted access to. Now, for mobile applications, this is true for not only version 7.6 of Maximo, but also the application suite uh, manage as well. So the user will see at the bottom of the screen a clear uh, cloud icon that's on the bottom right-hand corner. And if there's any synchronization issues at that point, they will appear as red numbers uh, near that cloud icon as well. Okay, so what happens when the network drops? Well, for the most part, whether they're connected or not, if the network drops, the user will be able to continue to use the application they're in. There'll be a couple of things that you're going to see here in a moment that are simply not available. Um, but when the network does drop, the application does show a red banner at the top that that's happened. So also notice that the cloud icon in the bottom right has a line through it. So while that red banner will go away, the line through that cloud icon will remain while it's offline. So as the user makes changes to records in the applications, the changed records appear in a list queued to update near the cloud icon. They're marked as red, but that doesn't mean there's an error. The list grows with each change that the user makes while offline, and the indicators continue to spin until the device is reconnected to the network, if you go look at the data update page. Okay, so what about maps? So if your Maximo server is providing maps into the environment, mobile users are able to interact with the maps while in the different applications. However, in disconnected mode, they can continue to move around the apps, search and view records and things like that that are on the device as pins on the map uh, and other functions that are built into the application. However, if the map function requires a reach back to the server for information, the user will have to wait until they are connected. And of course, everybody wants to know about attachments. So as you know, files can be attached to records such as work orders. Um, not only by those users in the traditional managed applications, but also by mobile users. So these files can be pictures, manuals, scans of documents, whatever it is, it's supported by the system. Um, and they're in support, of course, the work processes, you know, providing the field users with more detailed information. So while retrieving these records in the mobile applications, um, attachments are available to mobile users. However, there's some nuances when it comes to disconnected mode. And this is as of the current set of mobile applications. This may change over time. But if you have an attachment that's been opened before you went into disconnected mode, that attachment will continue to be available. Um, or if the attachment was created on the mobile device, as if you, like you took a picture, it will also be available in disconnected mode. But if you've not opened the attachment before you went disconnected uh, or the attachment, the file is not on the local device, then the attachment will not be available to you when you try to open it and you'll get an error like you see on the screen. So how about for some troubleshooting information? So errors can occur, as you can imagine, between mobile applications and the Maximo server. These can be caused for many different reasons, you know, not unlike the BMX AA messages that we're familiar with within the legacy Maximo. So as these errors are occurred, as they occur, um, they are recorded on the mobile side in mobile application logs. You'll find them under the help and support tile. 
um, and also the errors icon in the lower right corner of the application. So both views of these errors and logs can also be sent to administrators for further analysis. So errors can be cleared by the user if a problem is obvious, like a wrong time entered on an actual. Um, otherwise, they're mostly the familiar BMX AA errors, like we talked about earlier, uh, that an admin may need to uh, investigate. Okay, so to wrap this up, as you can kind of see, mobile users can perform a large part of what they're doing, uh, no matter whether they're connected or disconnected. So given that initial synchronization to the application suite or Maximo instance, they can go about their day without much consideration for their network connectivity. There's a few things they'll need to know about that are not available while they're disconnected, but they're reasonable. So also keep in mind, and I mentioned this earlier, is that those mobile device logs, they can be sent to the administrators. Um, which can be used in conjunction with the server logs, you know, for troubleshooting purposes. So it's pretty clear uh, what's happening when something is going wrong with the sync. So uh, hopefully that was helpful, a little bit different format for a Feature Friday, and uh, certainly make contact um, if you want some more assistance and want to know more. And otherwise, uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you.